Hello, my fellow cosmic explorers. Welcome to another thrilling adventure through the universe. Today, I want to dive into the mysterious world of a tiny yet fascinating particle, the neutron. The neutron, a fleeting guest in the cosmic dance. Here's a captivating truth. Free neutrons don't linger long in the universe. They're born in spectacular, high-energy events like supernova explosions. But their existence is fleeting, lasting only about 8 to 12 minutes. Experiments have shown that nearly all free neutrons decay into protons after roughly 10 minutes. This makes the neutron a rather unstable particle, like a cosmic wanderer passing through. When a neutron is born, it faces two paths. One, joining forces with other particles to form atomic nuclei, helping to build the stars and planets we see. Two, transforming into a proton through a process called beta minus decay. Beta minus decay refers to the products of this transformation. Specifically, when a neutron decays into a proton, it releases an electron and an antineutrino. Beta plus decay. We'll get to that later. First, let's explore why neutrons are so fragile. Why are neutrons so unstable? In the realm of physics, decay is a spontaneous process driven by the weak interaction. Digging deeper, a neutron is a composite particle made of three quarks, two down quarks, and one up quark. During decay, one down quark transforms into an up quark, resulting in a configuration of two up quarks and one down quark, the structure of a proton. So, why is the neutron's configuration so unstable? The answer likely lies in mass and energy. Let's break it down. A mon proton has a mass of about 938.272 MeV slash C squared. A neutron has a mass of about 939.565 MeV slash C squared. The neutron is slightly heavier than the proton. This mass difference partly stems from the quark configuration. Here's the key, only partly. A down quark has a mass of about 4.7 MeV, while an up quark is lighter at around 2.2 MeV. Clearly, up quarks are lighter, right? But here's the catch. If you add up the masses of the three quarks in a proton or neutron, they account for only about 1% of the particle's total mass. The remaining 99% comes from the energy of the strong interaction between quarks and gluons. So we can tentatively conclude that the neutron's instability is partly due to its higher mass. Being slightly heavier than a proton, the neutron seeks a more stable state by decaying into one. Is the proton the most stable configuration? Or could it decay into something even more stable? The answer? The proton is the most stable configuration we know of. No one has ever observed a free proton decaying on its own. Physicists estimate that a proton's lifespan is at least 10 to fourth years. That's 10 quintillion quintillion years. But what makes the proton so resilient? In nuclear physics, there's an unbreakable rule called the law of baryon number conservation. This law states that the total number of baryons in a closed system remains constant through all physical processes, including nuclear decay, fusion, or particle interactions. Let's clarify what a baryon is. A baryon is simply a particle made of three quarks or three antiquarks. For example, protons and neutrons are baryons, each composed of three quarks. Other baryons, like the lambda, made of one up quark, one down quark, and one strange quark, or the delta, made of three up quarks, are far less stable than protons and neutrons. In short, baryons are particles formed from three quarks or antiquarks. During any physical interaction, including decay or fusion, the number of baryons remains conserved. Consider this example. In the sun's core, two protons collide, producing a deuterium, one proton and one neutron, a positron, and an electron neutrino. The number of baryons before and after the reaction remains two. Another example. When a neutron decays into a proton, the baryon number stays one, with only the quark configuration changing. Thus, in all physical processes, the baryon number is conserved. This leads to a crucial consequence. Protons have no pathway to decay. They must remain intact to preserve the baryon number. In practice, the three quarks in a proton form the lowest energy configuration possible. No three-quark configuration has lower energy, so protons can't decay into a more stable state. These two factors explain why protons are as enduring as a cosmic fortress. As I mentioned in my string theory series, stability is like the universe's laziness, 
a natural tendency everything strives for. Neutrons in Nuclei – The Power of Unity Most neutrons in today's universe don't exist freely but are bound with protons in atomic nuclei. So why don't neutrons pair with other neutrons, or protons with other protons? Protons carry a positive charge, so if two protons try to bond, the electromagnetic force, known as the Coulomb barrier, pushes them apart. Neutrons, being electrically neutral, don't face this issue. So why don't they bond with each other? The answer lies in quantum mechanics, specifically the Pauli exclusion principle. This principle states that no two fermions, like neutrons, in a system can occupy the same quantum state. In the standard model, neutrons are typical matter particles made of fermions. In theory and practice, two neutrons can briefly bond, forming a nucleus called neutronium. But it's unstable, and one neutron decays into a proton. So, how do heavy atoms manage to contain multiple protons and neutrons simultaneously? To answer this, we dive deeper into quantum mechanics and the concept of energy orbitals. In a heavy atom, protons and neutrons, collectively called nucleons, coexist. When two protons, both positively charged, get close, the electromagnetic force repels them strongly. But adding a neutral neutron instantly strengthens the strong nuclear force, overpowering the electromagnetic repulsion. In heavier nuclei, there are many charged and uncharged particles. Theory dictates that as the number of charged particles, protons, increases, the number of uncharged particles, neutrons, must also rise. This addition strengthens the strong forces binding and increases the nucleus's volume. A larger volume spaces protons farther apart, weakening the electromagnetic repulsion. Thus, as proton numbers grow, neutron numbers must follow to maintain stability. But how do neutrons and protons coexist in a nucleus without violating the Pauli exclusion principle? The answer lies in their distribution across quantum energy levels, similar to electron orbitals. Each nucleon occupies a unique energy level with distinct kinetic energy. Yet nucleons don't move chaotically. Instead, the nucleus of a heavy atom is a chaotic yet orderly ensemble, a delicate cosmic ballet. In quantum physics, nucleons are both particles and waves, moving at speeds up to 20% of the speed of light. As quantum objects, they're governed by quantum mechanics. Ultimately, while neutrons are inherently unstable, without them, the heavy elements, the building blocks of the universe and life would never form. Conclusion. Let's explore the universe together. Today's journey into the world of neutrons proves that nothing in the vast universe is without purpose. Whether it's an unstable particle like the neutron or my science videos, everything has its unique value waiting to be discovered. I hope this story has ignited your passion for science and the wonders of the cosmos. Excited? If you enjoyed this cosmic adventure, hit that like button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring the bell to never miss a video. Thoughtful? Drop a comment below, share your thoughts on neutrons, or suggest the next cosmic mystery you want me to explore. Energetic? Together, let's keep venturing into the uncharted frontiers of knowledge. Happy? Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.